in this video we look at controlling the um, what's displayed on our uh, a vertical menu so right now we've already got our website map data set up and if you need to review this you can go if you look at the previous video but what we want to do now is say um, well let's look at this by default I'm only seeing one level of my map displayed I'm only seeing this home one which is if we look at our site map data it's this big outer level menu is being displayed so how do I control that how do I see more of that well um, there's two things two places we go to do this first of all for our again we'll look at horizontal metals later but for a vertical menu one of the things we can do here is on the menu properties come here and find the static level display we can set this to two and when we do that you notice all our guys that are child children of our top one they're displayed the second level ones we can also come here and change this to three that static level display and we'll see not only the children we'll see the grandchildren so this then these guys are no longer pull rights they show up here so how many levels we want to display is controlled by the static level display I suggest for these that we set it to two and show show these levels the other thing we can do is if you don't want to show this home one which sometimes you don't because you notice all these guys are indented underneath them we want everything to be at the same level we could make home in our site map we could make that point to nothing we, you know here's I'm just gonna actually do this down here I'm gonna come down here and make the site map no that points to nothing make him look like he's a child underneath this one I'm gonna call this nothing and make a file here called junk.aspx and I'm going to fix the path on this too so it's tilde slash default we always get to the top one um, so now let's see let's just go make this other junk file too let's make a file that has nothing in it because we we're not going to point to it we're going to basically take that off the top level menu but so what I can do since I changed my site map come to the master page and say I don't want to um, display this guy here anymore I, um, it's going to point to junk now what I want to do and is not show that and to do that we don't do it from the menu properties we actually do this from the sitemap data source properties and there's a show starting node up here if we set this to false then that hides that first level menu you notice it also at the same time since we have this show static menu set to two we're going to go back and change that to one and now we see this so I'm not sure why my didn't I fix that home and save that I'm not quite sure why that's not showing up although sometimes it doesn't show up till we actually run it so let's actually run this and you can just see what's happening here. There you can see it now. So we see home, internet, database, multimedia, and then we have the different pull rights out here. So those are that's how to display the different levels on a vertical menu. We'll look at a horizontal menu in, in a different lesson. And again, the two things we can set to control that are on the menu control, there's the show static levels, and then on the sitemap data source, there's the show starting node.